Hello everyone, we will continue the topic joins and in the previous video, we have written the logic for the inner join. We have checked the output in the debugging mode and it is perfectly fine. Now, suppose customer told, yes, the customer want the matching record of order header and order item table. In that case, yes, inner join is okay. We are able to achieve the requirement. Now, what customer is saying now? Customer is saying, okay, it is not mandatory that the order number is in the item table, but yes, we I have few order numbers which is in the header table, but they should come in the output means header data of those order numbers should come in the output. If item data is not there, keep it blank, but it should not be the case. They should not come in the output. In that case, we cannot go for inner join. Suppose if I will run this program, I am giving order number 1 to 7. Now 6 and 7 is not in the item table. If I will execute, you can see we are not getting 6 and 7 in the output itself. Now customer will not agree with this output because customer will say, okay, 6 and 7 is in the header table. Why they are not coming in the output? If customer requirement is up to matching record, then inner join perfectly fine. Customer is happy with the requirement, with the output. But now, rather than inner join, we should go for left outer join or we can say simply left join. Now, what I will do, rather than this particular inner join, now, I will simply, simply convert this logic to left outer join. Before I go for left outer join, if I am simply writing the word join, SAP will consider it as a inner join. So, if you are writing inner join or if you are simply using the word join, there is no difference. SAP will consider it as a inner join. Now, rather than inner join, now I will go for left outer join. So I will comment this code. You all know how to comment the code. You can select control plus comma. Now I will copy this code. Now I will go for left outer join. So I will uncomment. Now, rather than inner join, now I will go for left outer join. Whenever you want to apply left outer join, you can simply use the word left join or you can write left outer join also. It is totally your wish how you want to write. If you are writing left join, SAP will consider it as a left outer join. If you are fully writing left outer join, anyways, it is left outer join. Because when we covered the topic join, I told you left outer join is also called as left join simply. Now, we have written the logic based upon left outer join. Now, it means it will take all the records of the table which is on the left hand side and after that it will go to the or it will combine the data of right hand side table. That means after that it will go to the item table. Now I will simply check the syntax and activate. Now I will show you the output. Suppose I am giving 1 to 5. 1 to 5 are in both the tables. 
we are getting the expected result perfectly fine. Now I will give 1 to 7 also. Now 1 to 7 is in the order header table and we put on the left hand side. It means it will take all the records firstly from the left hand side table. It means from the order header table, it will take 1 to 7. If I will go to order header table, it will take 1 to 7 from the order header table. Then it will merge with the table of right hand side. If I will put 1 to 7, you can see now 6 and 7 is coming in the output with the blank item data of item table. Previously, they were not coming in the output because we used the inner join. Now we use left outer join. So it is perfectly, perfectly working fine. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, so far in the previous videos, we used inner join. So if you are writing the word join or if you are writing the word inner join, if you are simply writing join, SAP will consider as a inner join. Previously, our requirement was customer want to display the matching records of header and item. Then we simply displayed, when we, then we simply used the inner join. Now what customer is saying, okay, I want the unmatching records also because I have lots of order number or few order numbers which are in header but not in item. But it should not be the case. They should not come in the output. They should come in the output with the blank item data. So in that case, we should go for outer join and we applied left outer join. So it took all the records of the left hand side table. Then it combined with the records of the right hand side table because we all know outer join works on matching as well as unmatching records also non-matching records also. 1 to 5 are matching and 6 and 7 are not matching at all and we got the expected result. Now whenever we will go for new syntaxes at that time we will cover right outer join also. Previously, SAP has do not have the concept of right outer join. After that, only SAP evolved the concept of right outer join. Suppose if I will write here right outer join, SAP will simply give me the error. If I will go for syntax check, it is clearly saying we should go for comma between the columns and that is all is the part of new syntaxes. So as of now, we covered the inner join and we covered the left outer join. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.